Hi, I'm Casey Krebs, and I'm going to show you how to make a six braid challah today. So we have our dough. I have a great big amount of dough. I'm going to only take a third of this to make this challah because this dough was made for four challahs. Originally, I made one. I'm gonna make a second challah now, and I'm gonna make a third one for a babka, and I'll decide what to do with, with a fourth one later on. All right, so um, I'm gonna show you step by step how to make a six braid, one of my favorites, and we'll get started right now. So first we're gonna flour the surface. And now we'll use this dough, so I'm just gonna cut it into six pieces to start. So we have our six pieces. We're just going to roll them up into a, bowl, a ball. One ball. Just getting the air bubbles out from the from it rising from the yeast. Have our six balls. Okay, so next we're going to do is roll out our strands. You can do it like this, you can roll it on the table, you can do a combination. So roll and push apart. So we'll just keep rolling these out until we have six strands that are nice and long. What you want to do is let the strands rest a bit, let the gluten relax, and then roll them out even longer. So you can start with one strand at a time, roll it out, let it relax, and then come back to it once you're done rolling out the other six strands, or the other five strands. much nicer. It rested a little bit, so it's a lot more easy to work with. Beautiful long strands with beautiful long braids. Be patient, enjoy the process, be present. Think about what you give thanks for, perhaps say a prayer for someone. Okay, so we have our six strands. They're about even in size. If they're a little bit longer, no problem. We can cut them off at the end. What you wanna do is line them all up and take the tops Pinch all the tops together, like so. Okay, so they're all smushed together at the top. Well, uh, don't worry about that, the way that looks. So then, you wanna put two at the top like this, two down here and two down here. So what I do is I call these the arms and I call these the legs. So the first things you wanna do is cross the arms with one another, like so. Now, when you do that, you can see there's a top. This part here is on the top. So you wanna take the arm of whichever strands on top, put that in the middle, like so, okay? And then you'll take the second last uh, strand over here and make that the new arm, like so. So now you can see this one's on top, see? So you wanna put this, take this arm, put it in the middle, and 
then you wanna take the second last one over here, and this will be the new arm. Just cross it over like so. Okay, now you see this is the top arm. No, I don't know why I did arms and legs. I just, that's what came to mind when I was practicing this. So you take this top arm, place it in the middle like so. Then you take this second last one and this will be the new arm. pinch the bottoms together and fold it under like so. Okay, and you remember the top that we pinched together? You just repinch it together and then fold it under a bit also like so. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous little challah. How adorable is this? It's so beautiful. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna let it rest so it can rise again, do the second rise. So we wanna take a cloth like this, let it rise, and then once it's risen for the second time, we'll brush it with some egg wash, we'll put our toppings on, and so. So what I'm gonna do is, off camera, I'm going to move my little challah over to a baking pan, so when it rises, it'll rise on that baking pan, and it'll be a lot easier to move it now than later. So, I'll see you guys soon. Oh, it's so beautiful, it's so beautiful. So our challah has just risen on the pan. So now what we're going to do is we're going to brush it with an egg wash and then sprinkle on whatever toppings we want and I'll show you what I'm gonna be using right now. So I have my um, challah here and I'm just brushing it with a little bit of olive oil this time. Poppy seeds. Just dab it on. You can sprinkle it on, but I find that when you dab, you get a little bit more control. in the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes and we'll see how it turns out.